I don't have iridium. You need my food, little guy. It's adorable. You are so adorable. Take some more of this. So let's see what this is over here. There's a way to do this move. Print and run thing. And I think I've got it now. I think I've got it down. What in the world is this thing? Honestly, I swear this is like poison ground here or something. Jeez. Iron and a bunch of interesting plants. Very, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Right now I don't need iron. I'm set for now on iron, so I'm not going to worry about that. Guys, next time you see Heridium pop up on my menu, please tell me what icon it is. I really need to know if I'm following the correct icon. But I think what I need to follow is this thing, thing that's on my screen right now. Mystery music! Mystery music! Then I must be heading in the right direction. That sink right there. Iron. I think I'm getting close to what I need because I see the icons lighting up a bit more and this one, yeah, whatever. This must be the Heridium I might be looking for. Thing. I don't know where this guy is right here, but I'm actually following him. So at least I'm heading in the right direction This you know what I think what it is Oh god, okay, that's nice to know I'm gonna have to watch out for that because I'm afraid that because I'm this far away from my ship that I'm gonna have to start having problems because I'm this far away. You gotta admit the PC version is actually not too bad once it runs properly. Oh sweet, a ship over there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there's a ship or something right over here. I don't know what that was. Hello? There's some interesting buildings there. Oh, wow. Just wow. Look at this. Look at this right here. This is impressive. That's an impressive canyon right there, dude. That is just... I'm sorry. That's just like, wow. This gives me more protection. So I'm going to wait on this. I'm going to leave that there. Because I don't know how quick they grow back, if at all. So I'd rather not do that. So let's go investigate this building right here. Could I I don't know what this is. And I'm still not anywhere near this thing. Oh look at this! Oh look at what this is actually exactly what I need. Heridium silicate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you, uh, I'll take you. Can't go wrong with plutonium, okay? So let's just go ahead and start taking some of this, um, iridium. Maybe bust through might be a good idea. I don't know if I can. Am I actually busting through? I think I am. This, this light is so bright. It's so amazing. Yeah, I'm totally busting through. This is sweet. 
Wow. Wow, just wow. Okay, I'm making myself fall. That's that's not smart right now. <laughs> that's not smart at all. Guys, I don't know how much iridium I should get, but for sure 200 of those, maybe a little extra might be good. Oh, there's a hole. So how do I turn that? How do I turn off this light thing? Well, that didn't help me, did it? I <laughs> just turned it back on. I wish to just turn it off. 113 more Herodium to repair. Lovely. Just lovely. So guys, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually enjoying this game, okay? I'm sure at some point some of this will get repetitive, like just mining Herodium forever. Like this probably will get repetitive at some point. Oh shoot, I overheated my gun. That tells me I should probably shouldn't talk and shoot at the same time. That's just not smart. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm actually enjoying this game. This is actually pretty fun. It's got some clunkiness that I'm sure um, Chan and team can work out. It's not as bad as some people are thinking it is, okay? Yeah, this is why I got smart and saved that plant. The only problem is I don't know if I know where that plant is still. Oh, interesting. So as I destroy this, I can actually see what's left. Very interesting. Very interesting. So I need 41 more pieces. Oh, I overheated my gun again. Lovely. So far, I'm not attracting attention from those people. So that's, that's good. Very good. Very good indeed. Yeah, so mostly what I've been doing on my channel, in case you guys want to know, I have a YouTube channel. Um, technically, I call it Koi, okay? I call my channel Koi. But um, you'll notice that um, the thing you have to type actually is different. It's actually um, KMSJC. Um, but you can definitely click on some things and you can probably find my name anyhow. I think Twitch has that available. I am not sure if anything. Um, but yeah, I plan on doing more live streaming. I do want to do it based on the Minecraft stuff I'm doing. I am on a server with iCraft. So I definitely want to do some stuff there. And ooh, so close to overheating. Oh, I did overheat it. Dang it. But yeah, I do want to do some um, live streaming at some point. I just haven't gotten around to it because what starts to happen is you get rather busy in your life with, um, you know, day-to-day -day work and you don't have a day like today where you can just hang out and stay up extra late. You know what's sad? This is totally Heridium right here and I could totally knock this stuff off right up there. That's crazy, dude. Just two pieces of Heridium right there. That's, that's honestly crazy. How much of this stuff do I have now? I should have like a good, good, good chunk right now. I think I'm gonna leave that for later. Oh yeah, I could totally get this one. Sweet. But yeah, so I definitely want to try to do some live stream with that. But what starts to happen is, you know, your day-to-day -day work interferes a little bit. And you have to do editing, you have to do uploads and all that good stuff. And sometimes it's kind of hard because you can't just talk forever. Okay, sometimes I can. But then there's other times where I'm just like not saying anything like that, right? And I'm just mining away, doing absolutely nothing, right? And just doing this sort of thing and not saying that much. So sometimes that does happen. And so that's kind of, I think, my biggest fear with live streaming is that I will reach a point where I may not say much because I get so engrossed in some. Jeez, you rock. You made me think you were a sentinel. That was just, that was crazy. Oh my gosh, okay, my protection's going away. Okay, where's my tree? Where's my little tree? That's not it. There it is. I think. You yeah, found me. I didn't do anything. Go, go, go find someone else. Is it this one? No, but this is platinum. I could take platinum. Platinum is good. Oh, there it is. There it is. The the little health one. You see the little green health one, guys? This is the one to go with that's going to help save my life right now, along with the platinum. Taking platinum. I wish I had a name for this tree. 
It has like absolutely no name, but that's actually really helpful. Sweet. Now I saw something else. Let's do another scan. Oh, hello. I need an atlas path for this debris, but I could totally take this. It's in the cargo drop. Fascination bead? What do you want me to do with a fascination bead? I'm definitely fascinated by it, but dude, what am I going to do with it? There's some more debris here. And, ooh. Actually, let's, let's check something real quick. Oh, hush. I do have some slots to take in some extra stuff. So... Golden metal spear used to temporarily increase processing power of electronic life forms. Nice. I can actually transport this right back to my ship. Wow. Wow, just wow, look at this. Totally make that transport. I'm keeping this because this could be useful for other things. That way, then, I could just totally open this stuff up. Plutonium, sweet. Sweet. And let's see what's in the cargo drop. Another fascination bead. I've got two fascination beads. I'll give one to you guys. How about that? You guys can have a fascination bead, and I can have a fascination bead. And you know what? So sad. The iridium thing right there. I totally thought that was a building. Yeah, I totally thought the radium was the building. That's so depressing. <laughs> Anyways, let's find my ship. Uh, ship. There it is. Way over there. Oh my god, look at how far away I've gotten from my ship. That's amazing. Whoa, one whole minute, one and a half minutes to get to my ship. Jeez. Well, since we're going to the ship, we're just going to gather some stuff along the way, right? Life support. Got to keep some life support going. And I want to know what this is here. Here we are. Oh, this is a new icon right over there. Oh, God. Sorry. Platinum. Jeez, now I want the health one. I didn't realize it was that high up. No, really, I didn't I didn't realize it was that high up. I should like, you know, slowly, gently bring myself down kind of like this. This is for my shield. Oh, look at that. Shielding increases. Thank you, little plant. I now know what you are for. Temperature levels stabilizing. Oh sweet. It's morning now, folks. Yay, we survived our first night on this little planet. Extreme night temperature detected. Oh, God. What? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Let's get back up here for a second. Because this is like a cave. Life support power. I'll worry about that later. Cause you know what? I was in here when it said that. Temperature levels stabilizing. Very interesting. Look at this. This is technically considered a cave, even though it's totally open to air. Wow, I just got a full recharge. Sweet. Let's get over here and get some of this. I assume plutonium. Extreme night temperature detected. Yeah, minus 75 degrees Celsius. That, that, I'm sorry, that's freezing, guys. That is just absolutely freezing. If I could totally show you what I look like, I would totally show you that I'd be, like, frozen. Get me some plutonium. That's all good. Oh, okay. I didn't think there'd be like little bits of plutonium left, but okay. 